Let me show you how to use Open Notebook, which is the free alternative to Notebook LM. Now with this, you don't have any payments for using Open Notebook, aside from the BPS where you're going to launch your Open Notebook and the API usage. But that is going to be way lower than paying a monthly subscription for something similar where you're going to do your research and learning. Okay. Now, in my case, I've installed this on hosting your Docker and I'm using it right here. So I have a video for that. I'll leave the link in the description on how to install this. In this case, I'm going to show you how to use Open Notebook. Now, before we get started, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is actually hosting gear. They are providing the BPS. So I am using their Docker to use Open Notebook. It's super easy to install it with them. Now, currently they have a deal going on right now that you want to check out. Prices start from $4.99 and all the way up to $19.99. Now, I'm going to show you the most popular plan, which is the KBM2 for $5.99 a month. It has two CPU cores, eight gigabytes of RAM, and 100 gigabytes of NVMe disk space, which is more than enough for most of us for Open Notebook. Now, I'm going to show you this plan because I'm going to show you how to apply a coupon code to drop the price even more. The first thing that Hostinger is going to ask you is how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend the 24 months because you're going to lock in the lowest price and the lowest renewal price. Now, this is the current pricing, but if you click on have a coupon code and type in my code or paste it in, the price is going to drop to $129 with 38 cents. That's for two years paid off. So you definitely want to grab it now and use my coupon code. Okay, so let's jump into open notebook to show you how to use it. First, you need to know is that you need to add your API key for the AI model that you want to use. Be aware that Open Notebook doesn't have an easy way to add the API key. The reason for this is because it didn't want to have any leaks for the API. So the API must go inside of the Docker installation. Is it hard to add? No. As I mentioned, there's a video in the description to show you how to add it. But in my case, I'm going to give you the code so you can do this really easily. Go to manage for your Open Notebook and in manage, go to the down L editor. And in this case, you'll want to replace these details with the ones I'm going to provide you here in the description. And you're going to add this section right here. And then you are going to add your API key. This is where you're going to add it in order for it to work over here on Notebook. And the same thing is going to go for all these AI providers that you want to enable. In this case, I've enabled OpenAI. Now, once you enable OpenAI, you add your API key over there you'll want to add the language models that you're going to use. For example, I'm going to add a model here. I'm going to add open API key and I'm going to say GPT-5. So let's add the model. And now we have GPT-5 and GPT-5 Nano. Once you add all your models from all the AI providers that you want to use in Open Notebook, you'll be able to select them over here to start using them. Now, same thing goes for the embedding models for the text to speech and the speech to text. Then go ahead and enable them right here, the one you want to use by default. So you got your chat model, transformation model, tool model, etc. Just go ahead and select it here. You can see here I can go ahead and select it, the one I want to use. So the same thing goes for all the AI models, and that's where you want to get started. Once you do that, you're practically 95% done with the setup. I mean, you can start using it right away once you add API key and you set up your AI provider straight from here. Then you'll want to go into the settings and set this up, which is pretty much straightforward. You can keep it as it is or modify it if you like. Then you got your advanced settings too that you want to check out in case you want to make some modifications. Then to get started, we want to use the notebooks. Now, notebooks are easy to use here on Open Notebook. So just get started with a brand new notebook. And I'm going to say test three for this case. Let's get started. And I'm going to start my research or learning phase here using test three. Now, the beauty about this is that this notebook is going to specific, be specific with this the data that I'm going to use right here. So even if I add data in another notebook for a different type of topic, they are not going to be mixed. This is a dedicated niche specific to what you're going to research or learn. That is way different than just chatting with Gemini or GPT somewhere else where it's just like general random data. So in this case, my data is private because it's stored on my BPS. That is way different than using the other AI models over there where you're going to chat with them. So that's like a big difference. So first off, you got the option to add the sources and you have three types of sources that you can use. One is by a link. Just add the URL right here, set the title optional, and it's going to grab that data over there. Or if you have a file, just go ahead and upload it and it's going to read it. And if you have text, just add the plain text right here. That is for the sources. Then you got your notes. 
So these are just like notes that I'm going to be adding for specific details, depending on my use case. Just click on write note and it's going to open up a notepad to add the details right here in text. So if you have updates, if you have things that you're going to add, just go ahead and create notes really easily right here and just go ahead and add more notes. And then you have and just go ahead and add more notes and you'll be good to go. So you got sources and you got notes. And on the right, we have the main feature is where we're going to actually start chatting with the data that we have on this specific notebook. In this case, I'm going to select my model. So right now it's the default model, but I can select the other ones that I've added. So I'm going to use Nano for testing purposes and I can start chatting with this specific notebook. So there's not much data here, but I'm just going to say, what is this for? So not a lot of details here, but I mean, I'm just going to ask it. So you get an idea that it's going to kick off the AI model right here. So here we go. I mean, nothing is going on, but it's just to give you an idea that the API is working. Then we have the ask and research. So this is going to be on all the documents in the knowledge base. So this is like in general, the other one is specific to that specific notebook. And this one is in general with all your documents that you've added. So you got your ask and you got your research base right here. So you can do a text, a vector search. I have, I don't have that enabled, but you can enable that. You can search in sources and search in notes and you can search from here. So it's a great option. And depending on what you enable on the models. So let me show you here. So depending on what you've enabled, for example, for the embedding models, speech to text, text to speech, you're going to have the create options right here. For example, I got the create podcast and I can create it with the model that I've added. If I need to have more features, go ahead and enable the AI models. And you're going to get more options available here. You got your episodes and your templates right here to get started. So it's really easy to start using open notebook. It's just like notebook LM, but this is like the private version, the open source free version that you're going to be able to get started right now by installing it on your BPS. So what are you waiting for? If you need privacy, this is the way to go. If you want to pay way less, this is the way to go. So check out open notebook. I'll be leaving the link in the description for the details on the installation that I've showed you here and for the video for the specific installation. So there you go. I hope you like this video. Please let me know here in the comments what you think about Open Notebook and Open Notebook LM. So let me know what the strong points are for each one of these. And that's a wrap.